In this video, I will be modifying my Windows templates in VMware Workstation by adding a provisioning package that I will create using Windows Configuration Designer. And I am doing this to skip the out-of-the-box experience that happens uh, during the Windows installation. We will create a provisioning package that skips the out-of-the-box experience, creates a local user account for us, and also installs VMware Workstation tools and few other settings so let's start by clicking on file new project i will name this project skip ubi click next next here i will select all windows desktop editions click next and finish now let's expand the runtime settings and first settings that setting that we need to change is in ubi so let's expand it expand desktop and select hide ubi here we need to select uh, true and this basically disables the out of the box experience for us and all other settings that i will be doing are in provisioning commands primary code to context and command and i will be inputting command line parameters from the github page that i made as you can see here i have all the commands i will be using in this video and I will be also providing the URL for this GitHub in the description down below. And the first few commands is related to user account, the local user account. And as you can see, I will be using the net tool to create an admin account and then uh, adding it to local administrators group. You could also achieve the same by going to accounts, users and providing a username here. And the next step would be, the next mandatory step would be here to provide a password. But in my case, I don't really need to, for my virtual machines to be secure. And I would like to create a user without a password. And if you're creating a user uh, here, you cannot avoid the step. So that's why I will be using uh, the net command. So for the first command i will select it i will copy it go back to configuration manager and back to command and i will name this command create local user click add select it here now we need to provide the command line and i will just paste it in because i don't want to make any typos in this video go back to github and i will copy the command that adds the admin to administrator group go back here and then for command let's name it add admin to administrators and click add select it here select command line and paste in the command okay let's check what's the next step and the next step, as you can see here, is to disable the privacy experience. And this is a pop-up that appears when you first time log in with a user account. Well, on, you need to go through it for all the new user accounts that you create on that virtual machine. And it's a bit uh, annoying, so I will be disabling the screen. So it doesn't bother me every time I create a new virtual machine. And for that, we'll be creating a registry setting and it's called Disabled Privacy Experience. So I will copy this command, go back to Configuration Designer, go to Command and I will name it Disable Privacy Settings. Click Add and let's provide a command here. Let's see what's the next step. And the next step is to install VMware tools. And we will get, get the installation files from the default VMware workstation installation folder. I have the, the link here. I will copy the part of it because I don't want to copy the file name. Okay, I will use File Explorer and paste in the directory press enter and here we are looking for 
file named windows.iso. If you have extensions disabled, it will be windows only for you. And I will copy it and move it to my downloads folder because I will use it as some sort of uh, staging directory. And also I will use 7-zip to extract the contents. And from here we will be needing only the setup 64 exe file. All others are unnecessary for us. So let's copy the command from the GitHub. Go back to Configuration Manager. Let's name it Install VMware Tools. Click Add, and let's provide provide the installation uh, command. And for VMware Tools to work properly, it needs to restart and we don't want to do that manually but as you can see here we providing a really suppress for reboot that means we don't want for the executable to initiate the reboot and we don't want that because it's possible that that would break the provisioning process and the provisioning would fail on us instead we will use uh, restart we will set restart required here to true so that provisioning process process itself will initiate the reboot and as you can see here there are a return code for restart and it says that default value is 30 30 10 and normally you don't need to type it in here because that's the default value but in this case i will and also i will need to select the command file so i will go to press browse click go to downloads and then select the setup 64 for vember uh, tools installation file okay so we're done with vember tools and the next few steps is to set few power settings because I don't want my virtual machine to to disable the monitor or to go to sleep. So let's copy it, go to command, and let's name it power settings monitor. Click add. Then we need to provide the command back to command and then power settings sleep. Click add, go here. Let's copy the command from GitHub and paste it in here. Okay, so we have all the settings we need here. Now let's uh, generate the provisioning package by clicking on export and selecting provisioning package. For the owner, I will select IT admin, click next, 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 and build. Okay, now let's select the output location. And here we only need the ppkg file. I will select it, copy it. And I will also paste it into my USB drive. And I am doing this because I have a virtual machine that's in out of the box environment right now. And I will connect that USB drive to this virtual machine to see if the provisioning package works correctly. And I will do that by right clicking on the virtual machine, uh, removable devices, select my USB drive and I will connect it from my computer to the virtual machine. As you can see the provisioning package was detected and it automatically started applying it. And it seems to work just now, work just fine for now. So let's continue with our video and we will later check the results. Uh, for the next step I will be using um, the ISO files that we created in the last video and if you want to follow along uh, you can watch the the previous video the part 2 of windows templates or you can go to the github page 
and there is the uh, there is there is the folder for for that video and here are two other folders windows 10 and windows 11 and basically the main thing that you need is the alternate and xml for the windows 10 and windows 11 because we will be combining combining the alternate 10 file with the provisioning package uh, because alternate 10 file is responsible for the first part of Windows installation and provisioning package will be responsible for the everything that goes in the out of the box experience and after. Okay. I will go back here. Okay. And let's continue by going to my downloads folder. And like I said, I will be using the ISOs that we made in previous video. I will select both of them and use 7-zip to extract the contents. And the last thing that we need, no, the main thing that we need to do is to paste in the provisioning package to each of the folders. And the thing is, the provisioning package will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's that just the out on the 10 file is different a bit. So yeah, now that we have a folder with pro out on the 10 file and provisioning package, we need to create another ISO file. I will go for that back to GitHub. Here I have the command. I will paste it in into my command line. And as you can see, uh, here we'll be using MKSOFS executable that's in uh, Vampire Workstation uh, installation folder. It's a standalone utility that you can copy out of that folder and use uh, for your other projects also. Well, you could. And the next thing that we need to do here is to provide the destination and the source folder. So for the source, I will just go back to my downloads folder. Let's start with Windows 10. I will copy the directory location and I will paste it in here. And for the destination, I will just paste in the same path and I will modify it a bit. And also I will name the file windows 10 underscore auto attend underscore ppkg and click enter as you can see the new file appeared and now we need to do the same for windows 11 and it also appeared and let's see how my virtual machine is doing and it seems it's fine as you can see the user is admin let's see if we can run commands as administrator yeah it seems to work just fine also we can go to control panel and go to power settings And as you can see, it will not turn off the display or go to sleep. So everything seems perfect. So let's start modifying our template. And for that, first thing we need to do is to disable the template mode. So let's cl right click on the virtual machine, go to settings, options, advanced, and let's uncheck the enable template mode. Click yes, okay, okay. Now we need to uh, go to snapshots, snapshots manager and select the last snapshot for one of the templates. And this is Windows 11 template as you can see uh, here and this is the Windows 10 one. I will start with Windows 11 and press go to, click yes and now let's edit the virtual machine once again let's find that cd dvd drive that contains the iso with only the out on the tent 
and click on browse and let's go to downloads and select the auto owner 10 file um, that we made or just recently and this is the windows 11 template so i will be selecting the freshly made uh, iso for windows 11 the next step that we need to do is to select here advanced and go from size SATA to SCSI and click OK go to options advanced and enable secure boot for some reason if I don't do both of these settings it doesn't detect the provisioning package from ISO automatically so let's do that and click OK okay now we need to create a snapshot that will be uh, our template and i will do that by right clicking on the virtual machines going to snapshot clicking on take snapshot i will name it windows 11 ppkg okay and let's go back to snapshot manager now we need to go to our windows 10 snapshot and click go to okay click edit virtual machine select uh, the, the dvd drive that contains the iso that contains only the auto the 10 file and let's give it the new one we created also click on advanced and switch from SATA to SCSI click OK options advanced and enable secure boot click OK once more and now let's make another snapshot underscore windows 10 ppkg take snapshot and I also like to revert back to the base but that's not necessary and let's enable back the templating mode and click ok ok so now we can create uh, virtual machines from this template so let's right click it go to manage clone next here we select the template i will start with windows 10 i will name it windows 10 finish okay close power on this virtual machine and let's do the same for windows 11 manage clone next windows 11 ppkg next next win 11 and finish Yeah, and the only annoying part is that after powering on the virtual machine you need to click inside of it and click any key for the automatic uh, windows installation to start uh, if you have any ideas how to fix that uh, you can write a comment uh, down you can write a comment down below and as you can see windows 10 started installing so i'll pause the video for now and resume a bit later okay i'm back a few minutes later and as you can see it started uh, applying uh, the provisioning package without requiring any input from the user and then this one is the windows 10 virtual machine let's see if it's the same for windows 11 it seems windows 11 is still loading a bit so let's wait for it and the windows 10 uh, went into the full screen mode that means that vmware tools has been installed and it should restart now yeah as you can see it's restarting that means the the provisioning process correctly initiated a restart uh, let's check windows 11 a bit 
as you can see also automatically uh, detected the provisioning package and started applying it and as you can see it's still in uh, small window mode that means that when our workstation tools didn't install yet but i think it's the step that is currently running it should go into full screen mode any moment yeah see it's in full screen mode okay now it will restart so let's go into windows 10 virtual machine it already logged in into our admin user account and it's now currently uh, setting up the user account and there was uh, no privacy settings uh, menu so it's kind of convenient and let's wait a bit and see what happens next it should just go straight into admins and desktop Yeah, same goes with Windows 11. It already started uh, setting up the user account. Mm, the Windows 10 one is almost there. Whatever that means. Okay. As you can see, we are in our desktop. Now let's check if this user can run as administrator. Yeah, seems to be working just fine. We'll go to control panel also we can check the username who am i and it's an admin user <coughs> power settings and power options and change settings yeah so the power settings also applied correctly let's check windows 11 oh it, it will take a few more minutes so I'm not sure. Mm. And as you can see, Vember Tools also is here. And it's working correctly. Okay. Windows 11 has finished setting up our user. As you can see, it's the admin account. Let's double check if we can run it, run stuff as administrator. Yeah, it seems to run just fine. Control panel power and power settings are all, all are all also correct so that's it for this video see you in the next one